I believe if we are to make way in 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 the dating space, we we need to remove the ideals that we have. We need to remove the um, TV stories, the the romance that's on books that we find on novels and in all these other spaces, and then say, what is it that I, as a person, what is it that I want from my partner? Who am I? And in me being me, what is it that can complement me? Where are my weaknesses? Where are my strengths? And based on that, we then say, I would like somebody who can hold me up in the areas where I am not so strong. I would like somebody to compliment me as a person. And when we can do that, we can then let go of this ideal or these expectations of butterflies in the stomach. We can let go of the ideals of getting flowers and all these frivolities of dating, you know, chocolates and stuff and being taken out into these kind of fancy places when you don't even know somebody's pocket. It's very important that we look at people and we say, who is this person beyond what I see? Who is this person beyond the makeup? Who is this person beyond the the six pack? Who is this person beyond the curves? Does this look or sound like somebody I can build a future with? And then we'll get out of this notion of saying, I'm just in a relationship in GA. We We are just cruising. We'll see where this thing goes. Because if we become more intentional, if we become more focused in what we want from a person that we date, then... We will not be distracted by all of these things. I love the scripture in the Bible that says, seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added. So let's seek first the qualities of a person and then the shape of the body can come after, the looks can come after. And I don't know if you've noticed, and this happens for both ladies and and, and gentlemen, that a person can date Beautiful people for however long, but the day they settle, they seldom settle for the same type of person that they've been dating. They settle for it with a different.